Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be updating your Mac. Now it doesn't matter which one you have, it's going to be the exact same instructions for all of them. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of our screen we're going to see the Apple logo. Once we click on the Apple logo we're going to see this list. Now before we used to do all our updates in the App Store. Nowadays we do them in System Preferences. Again, with older Macs it would be here in the App Store. Newer Macs or, you know, you're almost up to date, you would go into System Preferences. So let's just click there. Now keep in mind that some of you may or may not see this here. So beside network, you should see software update, but this little one in red might not be able to see that. That's okay. Let's just click on it and you're going to see this update. Now, let's say this update's just not refreshing. It's telling you that your Mac's already up to date in 12.4. Don't worry about it. See this right here where it says automatically keep my Mac up to date. Just make sure to put that check mark on or off. Just play around with it. So it refreshes and then you're going to get the update. You can also go into advance, just put a bunch of check marks here or take them all off, click OK, everything's going to refresh and then you should see your newest update right here. So like I mentioned, once it refreshes, you should see this. If that doesn't work, just leave this off, restart your Mac and then you should see your update. Same thing if you didn't have a check mark or you did have a check mark, just make sure to leave that on or take it off. Depends what you had from before and then restart your Mac and then try that again. Same goes in advance. Make sure they have a check mark or take out all the check marks, then restart your Mac. Again, that should refresh everything and you should see the latest update. So if you're having those problems, just do that and you should be fine. Especially the restarting part, that usually fixes the glitch. But anyways, before we go on and install this update, which is only about two gigs, I do want to mention that you should use Time Machine. Time Machine is something pre-built into your Mac. Just make that backup on your Mac before you do any updates. And that's just in case something goes wrong, you have everything backed up and you're all good to go. And again, Time Machine is something that's already pre-built into your Mac. You can just back it up into an external hard drive. That way it backs up everything, everything from your desktop, pictures, videos, documents, and you don't have to worry about anything. But anyways, let's just get started. Click on update now. Like I mentioned, this was about two gigs. We're gonna click on agree and we're gonna see the update downloading. So you should download then install. It's gonna restart, so make sure you're not working on anything or just finish up your work. Make sure to do that time machine backup. And again, that speed that this downloads, it's really up to your internet speed. So for me, it's just gonna be a few minutes. Some of you might be a few seconds. Others, this could take a full day. Again, it is only two gigs. Overall, I would say for most of you, this will not take more than 30 minutes. And that includes the downloading and installation time. At this point, you could actually just leave your Mac to be. You don't need to be sitting here waiting for something to happen. It's just gonna restart by itself. You're gonna see a timer on the top right hand side of your screen once it downloads and wants to install because it's just gonna run that restart. So that timer is gonna be about a minute and then it's just gonna do the restart by itself, install everything. So you can just leave your Mac right now and then we're just gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar, it's gonna restart and then we're gonna be done. So as I mentioned before, you would get this timer, which is all the way up here. It's at 20 seconds, just gonna restart the Mac or I can just press on restart. Now we're gonna see a black screen and an Apple logo later on with a loading bar. And like I mentioned, you would see an Apple logo, a loading bar. It's just going to restart and you're going to be all done in just about 30 minutes or so. Then we're just going to see back into your screen where you can check your software update. And your Mac should say something like this. Your Mac is all up to date to the latest Mac OS. Now keep in mind that for MacBooks, make sure to have enough battery. But even if you have enough battery, go on and hook it up to some electricity. So that way it's charging while you do any updates. And that, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.